In this video, I'll be going over the way to handle Albin counter gambit with the white pieces. This is how the opening starts. Black offers a pawn right away on move 2. I'll skip to the key moves to save time. After d takes e5, black plays d4. That's the main line. White plays knight f3. Black plays knight c6. And the recommendation in this video is to play knight pd2. g3 is the other main line here and we can transpose to that eventually uh, in some lines but apparently this is a little more flexible so on knight bd2 black has three options bishop e6 f5 or g4 St let's start off with bishop g4 and here the recommendation for white is queen b3. It's not recommended to play knight b3 here because bishop takes f3, e takes f3, bishop check is not bad for black at all. So on uh, queen b3, black has a couple of responses or three responses that we'll be going over. On rook b8, white can go h3, bishop uh, f5 is the main move, although I've seen bishop h5 played in the played in some blitz games it may transpose to some of the lines we are showing here but on um, bishop f5 the recommendation is g4 and if bishop e6 then e3 And according to Fred's here, if D takes E3, Queen takes E3 is uh, decent for white. So on um, Queen B3, the other option for black is knight e7 knight g7 actually and it's recommended that white doesn't gobble these poison pawns and then and just chase the bishop away so bishop f5 a3 rook b8 g4 bishop e6 or um, bishop g6 e4 h5 g5 that's the main line the 
bishop e6 isn't covered in my resource but Fritz recommendation in that case is queen c2 or queen d3 queen c2 looks good enough if, uh, knight g6 queen e4 So going back to queen b3, the other option for black is bishop b4. And here a3, bishop takes d2. And white has two choices the main line is bishop takes d2 and knight takes d2 seems to give compensation for um, black with um, knight g e7 queen g3 queen d7 h3 bishop e6 or bishop f5 so looking at bishop f5 queen takes g7 rook g8 Queen f6, rook g6, queen h4, knight takes e5, f4, knight c6, g4, Triple zero, long castles, good move. G takes f5. Knight takes f5. Queen f2. Knight e3. This is pretty good for black it's not nothing for white so even with um, bishop e6 queen takes g7 long castle Queen F6, Knight F5, and here dangerous move to play is G4. Which runs into knight e3 f takes e3 d takes e3 queen f4 knight d4 queen e4 
e takes d2 bishop takes d2 knight b3 it's pretty much winning for black there was a blunder played here rook d1 knight takes d2 queen c2 queen c6 and even if um, bishop g5 knight takes a1 bishop g2 c6 black is still winning so knight take d2 therefore is not recommended recommended move is bishop takes d2 going back to the knight takes d2 variation if um, knight e4 instead of g4 d3 E takes d3 black seems to have compensation after knight c d4 but other moves seem like good alternatives too so going back to bishop takes d2 Here the main line is knight g7 with several alternatives for black. The ones shown are rook b8 and queen c8. So checking out these side variations now with queen c8 white does long castling knight g7 bishop g5 knight f5 h3 bishop takes f3 e takes f3 h6 Bishop D two ninety seven and not ninety five, which is a blunder because of um, Rook e1. So going back to knight f7, f4, it's just pretty good for white, should be winning. The other alternative, rook b8.
leads to bishop g5 knight e7 long castle short castle e3 rook e8 bishop e2 it's pretty good for white again so knight g7 is the main line and the recommendation is bishop g5 the other alternatives are h3 and I don't see other alternatives but h3 bishop takes e takes knight takes e5 f4 knight d7 queen th takes b7 castles light plus for white Bishop G five. One of the lines is Bishop F three, E F three, Knight E five, Queen. White has two bishops, slightly better. So that's the bishop b4 line actually. In the last video, I looked at Albin counter gambit. Knight BD2 variation with uh, Bishop G4 as the main move. In this video, I'll be looking at the other options that are Bishop F5 and Bishop E6. So starting out with bishop f5, white's plan is to go knight b3 and uh, the options for black are bishop b4 check, that's the main line, in which case white can respond with bishop d2 f queen e7 knight takes d4 if knight takes e5 knight takes e5 bishop check queen takes queen takes e5 knight takes f5 queen takes f5 rook d1 and um, 
is better for white that's the main line so the other alternative instead of bishop b4 check is queen d7 so white will again go knight takes pawn now check bishop d2 if knight takes d4 knight takes d4 queen takes queen check c6 queen takes b4 this is just winning for white instead of queen d7 if g6 then again knight takes pawn knight takes pawn knight takes and if bishop g7 knight takes bishop queen takes king takes pawn takes f5 f4 long castle king c2 winning for white and if f6 just giving up the pawn and again knight takes d4 check bishop d2 knight takes knight takes queen takes queen a4 that's the idea queen d7 queen takes it's pretty good for white so none of the alternatives are really good for black so that's why he goes bishop b4 if bishop d2 queen e7 so instead of queen e7 there are a few options could go back to bishop e7 in which case white can go bishop f4 and if bishop check trying to repeat i can go knight bd2 knight e7 a3 bishop takes queen takes queen d7 rook d1 long castle b4 with the attack for white knight g7 then knight takes d4 castles bishop takes b4 knight takes b4 a3 knight c6 knight f5 knight f5 e4 very good for white and if d3 instead of knight g7 e takes d3 bishop takes d3 bishop takes queen takes queen e2 queen e2 king e2 not a problem for white still winning because of the extra pawn so after queen e7, knight takes pawn, knight takes e5. There is an alternative here to knight takes e5, which is knight takes d4, which is not discussed in the study material 
but white according to Fritz white can go knight takes d4 and if long castle e3 knight h6 bishop e2 bishop g6 Bishop takes c5, bishop c3, queen takes e5, queen a4, just opening up lines for attack. Queen g5, castles, knight f5, knight f5, bishop f5. Bishop F3 is better for white. So main move, knight takes e5. The white's response is knight takes e5 and if bishop takes d2, queen takes d2. Queen takes e5. Knight takes f5. If f4, that's one more option. Queen e4, knight takes, queen takes, long castle. That works too. So that's the bishop f5 line. Now looking at the bishop e6 line. Knight goes to b3. Just giving up the pawn. Bishop takes c4. That's the main line. Knight takes pawn. Knight takes knight. Queen takes knight. Queen takes knight takes. Rook d8. Knight c2. Knight e7. E3, bishop takes f1, rook takes f1, knight c6, f4. White has a strong position. Now looking at the alternatives, instead of bishop takes c4, if bishop check, then bishop d2. Queen e7, knight takes pawn, knight takes, knight takes, long castle, knight f3, this is not bad for black. Instead of knight takes d4 here, black has several alternatives. One is queen d7, in which case knight takes a6, queen takes bishop d2. It's queen d5 similarly, knight takes, queen takes, bishop d2. And for example, if queen b6, queen check, bishop b5, queen a4, long castle, queen takes pawn takes e3 it's better for white if bishop c5 queen a4 bishop d5 Bishop takes queen g4. In the main line, if 
instead of rook d8 long castles white just gets an attack on the king on the c file so all again on the main line instead of bishop takes f1 bishop d5 then bishop d2 knight g6 f4 bishop e7 rook g1 f6 pawn takes bishop takes bishop c3 slightly better for white so that's the bishop e6 line and bishop e6 and b3 is like a gambit 